Hello my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. Yes, I've pulled Mischief Maker back in here. I thought I rectified the problem of that huge loud sound um, a couple of episodes ago, which is why we switched out that front drive shaft and you guys saw that the double carded was done. It was kaput, it was toast. Um, so we went wheeling again and the noise appeared again a little more aggressive. So I'm thinking it's definitely something in the front end. I'm going to quickly tear him apart, get those wheels, tires off, calipers off and get into that spindle. What I think it may be is uh, the spindle bushings have gone out. Um, so thank you Walter because he ordered them and they came in yesterday. So if it's them, we have those. If not, it might be the U-joint. They might just need to be rebuilt, which is fine. Or if I need new super U-joints, I'm in a little bit of a pickle because I don't have spares of those anymore. But there's no point in wondering. Let's get them open. Right, now that I have everything broken down on that passenger side, let's take a look at what I found. Okay, let's head on over to the spindle for a second. First of all, I find not one, but two seals on here. Obviously, there's only supposed to be one. I don't know what I was doing that day. That's not going to really have any effect on what has been going on in the vehicle. That really bad, um, heavy vibration. Um, but they look pretty good. So, we'll just put one in instead of two but let's take a look at the poly bushing here bam can you see a difference that's right it's the thickness of them both so let's take this out take a look at how much we've lost but yeah that's that's significant That was fairly simple to do a little time consuming but not so much to be honest with you love having the vice and nothing a good old brass little punch can't do with a hammer so here you have it we have the old and the new massive difference as you can see right there and believe it or not that was a big part of the problem i am very interested to see how thick the new one is so let's just get our little measurement here. It is two millimeters. I was wondering if you're gonna see that. Two millimeters thickness. And let's just take our old one. And our old one is at one. Massive difference. So I'm really happy that kind of opened that up and checked that out now the inside of this thing looks dingy as anything because we have lost some of that bushing which means some of the dirt has managed to push on through so we're just going to pretty much spray that down with brake clean clean that all up in there get the new one in I'm just going to take a socket and just pop it on in there and um we're going to put this side all back together but look what i found on the driver's side There's a lot of play in there. Now, I don't think it's the U-joint in there at all. I just think it, the bushings are out on this side also, but we'll get to that in a second. I have double checked the axle shaft. Everything looks great. And I played around with the joint a little bit and everything seems to be fine. There's no play in it whatsoever. So we're looking good here. Look, I used to have like little Santa elves on it. I like to use the side of the hammer when doing this just because 
I feel like I have a more even, I don't know, I know that's not how hammers work, but it just makes me feel a little better, I guess. Get that on in there. You can hear that sound when it's seated in there. Twice today, that's all right. We feel really good in there. that back on the table and this is all of the the dirt that I picked out of there to begin with I don't need that all right so what we're gonna do is just put this side all back together I've wiped everything down You just saw me put the hub on and take it off when it came off. The uh, seal at the back of the spindle came off and has a nice holy hole right there, which is not very good. And it came with this spring from the seal at the back of the hub. Yeah, it's not supposed to be anywhere near this. Crazy. So I'm going to have to go to the store, get some seals. I don't have any of those. They're always uh, available at the stores near me. So I don't normally carry them. Um, so yeah, but before I head to the store, I am actually going to go on the driver's side, take that apart just in case I need anything else. Let's get that done. Okay, everything actually looks okay on the driver's side. I'm gonna go to the store and I'll be back with you in three, two, one. Hey, back from the store. So I got two of each of the seals. Um, I got two of the ones that sit at the back of the spindle, even although the other one on the other side looks okay, I'm still going to replace that. And this actually comes with a kit. It's very hard to buy these separately, especially from O'Reilly's or AutoZone or Napa or something like that. It comes with the kit and the kit comes with, boop, that's right. Look at that. This is what I use. I use the poly bushing and here is the one with the needle bearings. Ugh. Needle bearings, great for high speed. Poly bushings, these are great for off-road. They're self-lubricating. Um, they're great for heavier vehicles, slower speeds, so perfect for uh, off-roading and crawling and all of that good stuff. And I know a bunch of you use these. Which one do you prefer? If you've never heard of using these before, will you actually switch over? I definitely say do it, but which one do you use? That's what I want to know. Leave your comment below. Now this works just as well. It just slides on the spindle like this. But if something goes wrong with those needle bearings, it's going to scar the stub shaft. And that's something you just don't want to do. Also, these are qu quieter, I guess, because they're self lubricating. I don't know. But that's why I love this. Probably going to replace uh, the spindle seal at the back here on both of them, even although that one looks okay, but I'm not going to touch the second seal. So the one that I'm going to be uh, taking out quickly is this one. This sits uh, at the back of the hub and this is where the spring came from. So there's no spring on the old one. Let me show you where that spring is in here. It'll let me open it up. Boop. See it right there? That's where it's supposed to be. So I'll quickly show you how to do that. Um, you just need to take it out, which I've already done. <laughs> and we'll just pop that back in and then we'll put everything back together and everything should be okay. I double checked the axle shaft on the driver's side. Everything looks okay. There's no play there or anything. Um, so I just think the bushing over there just needed switching out. As well. All right, now that we have everything, we're just gonna put everything back together, get his wheels and tires back on and get him down on the grind.
So if you don't have a race bearing set, what you want to do is just have something flat on here, like a piece of wood or something like that. Getting all the hubs put back together, yes, they bite you sometimes, but that's okay. Uh, but I want to stop and tell you what I have inside of my hubs. I run the Stage 8 Locking Spindle Nut because it's super simple, easy, quick, and uh, I never have to worry about these walking off or doing anything like that. And I don't have to deal with the annoying little pin in the whole scenario. So, very, very cool. You might want one of these in your stockings, I'm just saying, very awesome. And in the rear, you can't see because I have the KMC caps on, but um, I run these locking fasteners. I have actually done a video on that. I'll leave that in the description below. And I'm gonna leave uh, a video about these. It's like a quick three minute video. Definitely go check them out. Perfect for off-roading, just saying. All right, time to get the second one done. <laughs> cleaned everything so I'm just going to put some new grease on everything inside the hub and the stage 8 stuff is so easy like I said before piece number one I'm just going to screw this in on there when we tighten this nut, you don't want it too tight. You want this to be spinning, like this is way too loose right now, obviously, but you want that to be um, spinning freely, not too freely, but you also don't want it on the other end where it's really, really difficult to turn. feels last part of locking that snap ring to hold all of that in place Okay, so just finishing up here on the hub and um, the reason why I keep coming back to Mischief Maker and I really need him to be in tip-top shape is because I need him for pre-running. Uh, yes, we are doing King of the Hammers and yes, I have been getting some seat time in and yes, we will be getting more seat time in. 
uh, in Johnson Valley. I'm not going to tire out the race car. That's not what it's for. Um, I will do a couple of things in there and run the desert. Um, maybe do a couple of rock things, but this is going to be my primary vehicle. You guys are going to be along for a really cool ride because we're going to be doing some stuff and some changes, some fixes to Nessie starting from next week. And of course, I'm going to take you guys along. But I think uh, Mischief Maker is ready for his wheels and tires. So let's get them on. We managed to get everything done on him. We even managed to head into town and get those seals. They were there, so switched out the bushing, switched out the seals, and I'm really, really happy. There's just a couple more things that I want to get done uh, and double check on him, but for the most part, he is fantastic. You'll see this, these second set of tires, Nessie. This is what we're going to be concentrating on just because we have King of the Hammers in five weeks five and a half weeks i can't believe it's come up so fast you're going to be seeing some familiar faces on the channel and uh yeah it's just it's go time baby it's go time so i hope you guys are excited for what is coming up because i certainly am now don't forget to tune in on saturday to see the small tire challenge between paul rudy and myself in moab that was so much fun i can't wait for you guys to see that episode but for now i'm gonna head back home have a wee cuppa with a wee bit of shortbread just as a wee treat so thanks for watching